Okay. <clears throat> Alter Destiny. Okay. And I guess I should change my tag to Alter Destiny. Alter De not Altered Beast. Alter Destiny. Okay, great. Okay. Now thank you, Belkin, for the links of the feelies that come with Alter Destiny. And you've got your physical copy of Alter Destiny with you there, Belkin. You can find if you can find it in a few minutes, you can use the code wheel if it's needed. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. <clears throat> but yeah, let's talk a quick quick background about Alter Destiny. This game was, yes, made indeed in 1990 by Accolade. And it was developed by um, Michael Berlin, who sadly passed away this past March. Excuse me. Michael Berlin um, worked at Infocom. He was an implementer at Infocom and worked with Mark Blank, who also um, worked um, on Zork, a little game called Zork. Founded Adetic with Mark Blank from Zork as well. And. Uh, designed Bubsy in Claw's Encounters of a Furred Kind, which I'd not really heard of, but apparently that's a well-known game. Yes, an implementer. Yes, one of the great implementers of Infocom. Also, Michael Berlin worked with another um, giant in the game dev industry, Rebecca Heinemann, co-created Task Times in Tone Town with Rebecca Heinemann. So this, so this Michael Berlin, but unfortunately no longer with us, has been has been places and done many awesome things. Yes. Come on some of the Bubsy creator. Yes. Which I've not played anything, but yes. Um, that's apparently like his signature stuff. <clears throat> really, so really, really impressive. Impressive, impressive. This game came out in 1990 for DOS and 1991 in Amiga. And really quickly, what we're looking at here is normal middle class PG Barrett has a repair shop mix-up and brings home a TV set belonging to a barbarian warrior. Uh, there is an intro, so hopefully they'll, they'll tell us more about that. And uh, get sucked into the screen to Planet Daltir. Alien Helmer stole the Jewel of Light and world is in danger. We have to save the galaxy. Just gotta save the galaxy. And that is Alter Destiny. And briefly, to get this working... Fango Rain! <laughs> no. No, this is not Altered Beast. This is Altered Destiny. Which I'm excited to play. Now, I bought mine on GOG. When you load up this game on GOG, and you just, you know, you install it like you usually would any GOG game, it'll load up not with this color palette. And I played around with it a bit, and I realized what you have to do to make it work on the EGA color palette is you have to run the setup file. But you cannot just double click the setup file in Windows, it just won't work. You have to run the setup file in DOSBox or Defender or whatever you have. So what I did was I added my Altered Beast folder to Defender or Defend. And then I right clicked on it and I ran the setup file. When you run the setup file, it gives you your, you know, your what graphics adapter you're using and then also some sound, some sound um, options. Yes, defend. Defense, that was the way I got this to work, the way I wanted it to work. Okay. So let's turn off this music. I gotta turn the desktop audio way down because this game is really loud. I have to turn it down to minus 45. There we go. If that's too soft, then you'll definitely let me know. And let's turn off this Alter Destiny stuff. Of course, I'm really grateful that this game is playable in EGA. Okay, and let's see, Alter Destiny... No, that's not Alter Destiny. We need a new window. Show TCD. No, Alter Destiny... This one? Okay, great. <clears throat> this is the first, um, the first code wheel, and we, this is already cracked, so I know at least this one is cracked. Okay, great. Just you have to just enter in any number. I have not seen the intro at all. How's the sound level? Altered Beast Directory. 
Of course, beta human. This is not how it was intended to be. Very quiet. Okay, I will turn it up. How about now? Change more volume. That is good? Good. Okay, great. <clears throat> yes, Carolee Hawk's daughter worked on this game and might have worked on King's Quest for a pen. Okay, let's do let's do this. Let's <laughs> let's do the uh, intro. You still turn up turn up music? Okay, I'll turn up the music, music a bit more. Okay, there. Okay. Music touch that I don't know. Okay. I'd rather have it be a little qu a little quiet than, than too loud. Yeah, it's, it's a bit it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Okay. Yes, Sufsi, I beat Loom last week. And it was it was lovely and magical. <laughs> I tried to get it to work with Belkun with the other settings, and um, I could not get it to work. Though, yeah, I, I did, because there were different options, and I don't know what kind of emulation the, the DOS box was doing. But anyway, let's do this. I'm too excited to not do this. Have you ever played Halted Beast before? No, I'm yours. That was my issue. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down so you can hear me. Okay. I'm gonna turn it back down. I'd rather have it a bit low, like I said. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Hi, Trudy. We still on for tonight at my place? Ooh. Ooh. This is great. Trudy Foxlitner. I hope so. There's that all-night film festival on cable I wanted to see. Ooh. All night. Is it too loud now? And in relation to my voice, look at that executive toy. That reminds me, I've got to get my TV at the shop on the way home. Great. Okay, good. This guy likes a good time. He's got a Rubik's Cube and everything. Well, don't be late. I'm bringing a little something special. That Rubik's Cube has like four colors on it or something. I, mean, I Actually, that's probably as many as they do usually have. So I don't know. Something special, eh? Sounds romantic. You know how I love your surprises. Mm-hmm. Wow, whoa. I need to spend more time at the health club. Okay, so they literally meant a barbarian. Okay. I've heard of rough neighborhoods, but a sword slung across his back seems a bit much. This is weird. <laughs> When I read the description, I really didn't know what we were in for. I'm here for my TV. It's claim number 701. 701? I think I, uh, 701, eh? That big guy, what was just in here, took 701. Says Big Bob Roy. What? You gave him my TV? How could you just give him my TV? I like the, the sign in the back. It's really beautiful. Um, maybe I must have got the slips mixed up, but why don't you take his as a loner? It's one of them high-def models. He's not coming back for a while. He said he's going on a trip. The USMC tattoo. Yes, I didn't. I wasn't sure what that meant. Yeah, we saw that. We, to we totally saw the Con He was like, literally a Conan the Barbarian with the sword slung on his back and everything. It was amazing. <laughs> well, better get a move on. She'll be here pretty soon. Uh-oh. Ooh. Now let's see. She's bringing something special tonight, so I better wear the one she gave me. The one with the fleur-de-lis on them. Sweet. Very fancy. U.S. Marine Corps. Gotcha. Okay, U.S. Marine Corps. That was a nice detail. <laughs> like his dresser. What's going on at the top of that dresser? Ooh, my god. Oh, wow, it's a whole suit. Look at him strut. This is great. Oh, hello.
Hi there, honey. Here's that little something special I mentioned. Why don't I slip into it while you warm up the TV? Oh, Trudy. Oh, Trudy. Yeah, it looks like he's wearing pajamas. Like, he really slipped into something comfortable. Oh. Oh my goodness. Who are you? You are not the warrior who was summoned. You lack the stature and the experience, says Jonqua. It's his, his pajamas, isn't it? Who are you? Where am I? What's going on? Well, she, she was going to put on like a nighty anyway, too, so maybe they were just going to have a sleepover? I am Jonqua, and you float between here and there. Had I the power, I would send you back and summon the warrior we need. But you will have to do our time runs out. This was what the barbarian guy was supposed to get. Hmm. I'll have to do for what? What's this about? I'm glad he kept his slippers, like both of them. The universe faces immediate destruction. My brother Halmar has had the Jewel of Light too long. It has begun to affect him, and he it. He was untrained in its power, and an instability has started that will cause our destruction if you do not help. I will catch up on, on, on chat. Sorry, I'll have to catch up after we finish the intro. I don't want to miss any of this. This is very, um, instructional. If you're powerful enough to summon me, why don't you fix the instability? Why do you need me? I am imprisoned by Halmar. I could manage only this one task. It will take a stranger whose presence is unknown to Halmar to approach him. We entrust this task to you. You are our only hope. Obi-Wan, find the Jewel of Light and wrest it from Halmar before we all perish. Yeah, I'm afraid to press enter because I I don't know if I don't want to miss anything. We're just gonna let this run. Run its course. But what how am I supposed to do that? Where is yeah, where's Halmar? Where am I? This looks like Loom kinda. Go. Halmar or the jewel? Hello? <laughs> so bizarre. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yes, pajamas. It is pajamas. Stampede 4. So how would you go about making that color texture on the walls? Uh. Oh, nice. Beta human. This reminds me, I did some research and there are no... <laughs> there are no non-porn PC-98 visual novels that have been translated into English. Yeah, this is great. This is great so far. And I'm gonna have to turn this music down for me anyway. Oh, okay, so the barbarian guy must be very disappointed. He, I, I, I think so. I mean, he must be. He's maybe Trudy can go to his house. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, Bill can. This is like what? This is like the Ultima Six start. Te stuck through a television. That was a very, very big hazard. I think back in the day, the early nineties. Okay. He, he was holding popcorn. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let me. The first thing I'm gonna do is save. File. Save. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Oh, that's load. What? Hold on. How did I mess that up? Save. Okay. Ooh. Start. Okay. Oh, there's no more music? Oh, that's good. Okay. This is a text box. Yeah, <laughs> Paladin William. Hopefully Halmar is allergic to popcorn or whatever inventory, uh, whatever material jammers are made of. This is great. 
Let's go inventory. I think I, we can, you're holding a bowl of popcorn. Yes. Look at popcorn. It's Orville's corn -a pop Okay. Examine popcorn. Okay, that's nothing. Oh, can we just try eating it? Would, can we? I don't know how unforgiving this game is. Okay, oh! <laughs> Yum, crunchy, a little salty, but hey, what's a little salt between friends? We have minus two points. I'm not doing that great to start. Yes, Bill, can the whole universe is at stake? <laughs> but we only give ourselves enough juice to teleport one person. To transport one person one way, whoops. I, yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. I guess I'm gonna be... <laughs> I told you I'm not good at this. Okay, load. Yeah, we can actually just do it this way. Okay, I didn't... Yeah. You know, I know, like, the cardinal sin of adventure games is to eat the food that you're given. Look. Let's look. You look to the horizon in all directions and realize you're on a mesa or butte high in the air. Is it butte or butt? Wherever you are, whatever this place is, you figure you'd better find Halmar and the Jewel of Light and quickly. Yeah. Great. Look... I don't know what those things are. Look, jellyfish? Are those jellyfish? Look, creatures. What do you mean? The small floater or the, the large floater or the small floater? I guess I mean look, small floater? Ooh, I, I do like this interface. This is quite nice. You get close-ups of everything. This is a small floating sealed, the seed, the spawn of the two plants found at the crossroads. Let's look at large floater. This is a large floating seed, the spawn of the two plants found at the crossroads. Okay. <laughs> exactly, Belkin. Meanwhile, Conan is getting Wheel of Fortune trying to figure out pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think maybe the game might be unwinnable after you eat it? After you eat the uh, popcorn? Butte. Okay, I did- okay, Butte. Foggers, thank you. Okay. Got- got you. This is great, this is great. Okay. Oh my gosh, you know what? I, I have this thing, you guys. Um. He's wearing those just slippers, right? Like slides. And I have this paranoia about wearing slippers like this in public. I, I, you'll never catch me wearing slippers like this in public. And I know people do it all the time, but I have this whole thing about like, what if something happens and I have to run somewhere? What if one of these things fall off and I have to walk the rest of the day with only one piece of footwear? I can't do it. I have to, if I've got a sandal on, it needs to have straps on it and it's secured to my foot. This might, I, 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 I don't know if that's unusual, but I only wear slides or thongs or whatever they are to get to like a swimming, like around a swimming pool or if I'm in a hotel room where the floor looks a little suspicious. The walk cycle is great, but I, I am uncomfortable already because I've got, I've only got black slippers on. That bothers me. Can I just walk off of this? Will they let me? Yes! Yes, they will! Fantastic! It appears you have died, and not very prettily. Would you like to try again? Okay. <laughs> Adrian Bauer, I've launched many a sandal as a child. Yeah, I, as an adult, I just cannot. Also, yeah, like, let's say, you know, you're in a crowded space, and, you know, you got to move out of that space quickly, and what if someone steps on your foot? And it's just, it just seems very vulnerable to me, and I like to be prepared whenever I go places. But maybe that, maybe I'm alone. Maybe I'm alone. Okay, so we're, th we're, we're right now we're looking at a Sierra level of of um, mercilessness. Yeah, can't walk near cliffs, can't eat popcorn. I wonder if I can just fall all the places. Yes, I can. Oh look, my seat! That's what happens. Your sandal will fall off, and then even if you were surviving that, you would have to go the rest of the day without without a footwear. Can I just fall down here too? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, great. We're doing great so far. <laughs> yes, death. Died from lost labor. Eek. Oh, Maru Rune, thank you so much for the follow. Let's, let's... Oh, you can't actually... Oh, yeah, you can. This looks dangerous. Oh, look! Oh, we did a sprite scale. Look, plant? Okay, the bunch of roots are the blooming flowers. Look at roots. They're tethering the island, keeping the rock from floating off from into the space. Look, blooming plant. Okay. These flowers are part of the root system's life cycle. Their, their frequent blossoms are an attempt to... Uh, what? 
These flowers are part of the root system's life cycle. Their frequent blooms are an attempt to attract small floating rocks. I don't understand the sentence, but um, this is an alien world you just don't know. Yeah, Prasco Prosov, I don't trust my brain to event to not eventually jam my foot into inanimate objects. Yeah, Marun, I love I love death. Not well, I love in game death. Yeah, this is this is really nice. I do quite like this book, and I agree with you. Take flower? You can't take blooming flowers. Climb root? You won't go anywhere climbing that, okay. Any other like the thing is, is it doesn't really tell us, Sky, what our things are. There's nothing special about fresh air. This, oh, now, look at that, 1990. You, If only you knew 1990. There's, fresh air is, is very special indeed. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. Look. You stand near two structures. The angular one has a series of roofs, which catch gleaming pigments that drop from the sky. Troughs channel these pigments into the structure. A light breeze drifts across from the west, bringing rich earthly, earthy smells. That's where we came from, even though the smell of acid reaches you. Hmm. Okay, let's invent- I just want to watch where the floaters are going. Because I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, that thing puts up pollen. Cool. Okay. This is like a suggestion of stairs over there. Well, you know what? Maybe I can like grab hold of one or something. You can also move faster, but I'm fine with the speed that we're currently moving. Okay, yeah, so that's the time. Okay, so take large floater. See? Oh, oh look at this. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Bad move department 712. Now, well, you held on as long as you could, but the stupid thing kept climbing and climbing until it popped. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Real Lady Elfie, it'd be funny if the death screen, the second time you died falling off the cliff, said seriously again. Wow, well, I'm actually really pleased that I even thought like, that actually did something. Whoa. Oh! I died again? What just happened? I died twice somehow? <laughs> That's okay. That's great. Well, I'm gonna try to grab a small floater. Because then maybe it won't, like, it will just be able to get me to those stairs, you know? Look at the size of his glasses. That's a, that's a large one, right? Okay, I don't want a large one. And Beta Human, I, I wanted to ask, do you think that Morphville Manor was the worst game that I've let's played so far? I don't know if you've seen them all, but... Oh, there it is. Take small floater. So maybe it won't be able to ascend as... Okay, and I don't have any control here either. That was better, wasn't it? Oh, I got four points! Oh my gosh, that might be the smallest sprite I've ever seen. Can I do anything? I can't do anything. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing! Oh, it's so cute. So cute. I got four points. But I, I missed out on all that stuff. We're probably supposed to do this after. Whatever. Okay. Great. Quick Death of Wannabe Sierra game. This is great so far. You can die a lot in Bubsy? I guess it's probably uh, a, um arcade game. Okay, yes. This is your fault. You didn't die when it popped. It was just a bad situation. It was a sudden abrupt stop that did you in. It's true. Happy Crimson Good Tuesday. Okay. That was cool. Okay, yeah, Boy to Human says, I don't know if I've seen them all either, but the ones I've seen in Morphil Manor was the most frustrating looking. It was very frustrating. Okay, now we, we learned a thing, but I feel like I should load anyway because I I should probably do that last, I feel like. Um, we're gonna... Okay. 
I'm gonna try to look at the pollen when this thing farts pollen. Okay. Look pollen. No? What if I stand... No, okay, you don't get close enough. Okay. Okay. What if I look at the flower when it's farting pollen? Maybe it'll say something different? Hold on, look. Flower again. Okay, I'll try looking at it when it... Okay, yeah, now. Look, flower. Okay, no, doesn't say anything new. Okay, and it doesn't recognize pollen. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna just move on to this next screen. Now we know how to leave, but we don't want to leave yet. Is this a falling off? Yep! Yeah! <sighs> Sprite floating over the menu bar is a beautiful touch. I didn't even notice. Okay. Because that genuinely looks like a way you could potentially go, am I right? Okay. Oh, now we're on this side. Look at that. Oh, what's all this? This is great. This is great. This is great. Okay, look. Okay. Oops, Angular 1 is a series of roofs. Okay, Toronto. A light breeze. Okay. Okay, it doesn't tell us how to look at this other structure. Oh, okay, you can just go in. What? Okay. Great. Great. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna parachute off until this. Yeah, would an adventure game do that? Just punish you for missing one item at the start of the game? It's unheard of. Look. You're in a small building face to face with Alnar, the metal shaper. Acid drips from his hand, sizzling on the counter. Lining the wall behind him are swords and battle axes. Look at Alnar. Alnar is a massive, powerfully built creature, a metal shaper. His palms secrete acid, which softens metals, making them pliable. Alnar can mold the metal as if it were clay. This is cool. Flusterblatt's cousin. Look at hand. Don't bother with Alnar's stuff. He's a gruff kind of guy. Look at sword. Ooh, this is a large, heavy sword forged by the hands of Alnar. Feels a little large for you, but you figure you'll grow into it. Look axe this well, i mean it's the same axe as the i don't know you know it's not a close-up it's just the same thing but it's cool it's like separate from the background now this battle axe is a large powerful weapon what other weapons were there look weapons okay look swords and bow okay well look at acid sizzles and bubbles i'm gonna save Really? It's all nar. Oh, whoops. Eat acid. You call yourself human? Eat burning acid? Take acid? Oh, take. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna look at the maze. Metal shaper, much better than blacksmith. Burn your fingers down to the nubbins? Yes! Look at mace. Okay, it doesn't know word mace. Shake hand. Can't shake it if you can't take it. <laughs> it's a good idea though. Okay. I'm sorry, but PJ's saving his kisses for Trudy. Hug Alnar. Don't know the word hug. Pat Alnar. Don't know the word pat. I'm going to look at him again. Okay. Talk to Alnar. Her, what is it that you want? I have better things to do than make chit-chat with puny ones, he says. Maybe talk to him, Paladin William. <laughs> I got there eventually. Oh, yes, there's an inventory screen mouse, which I'll show you guys. Blacksmith sounds more epic. Metal Shaper sounds like a kid's toy. Blacksmith. Yeah, we have one here. Holding a bowl of popcorn. That's it? Yeah. 
Um, ask about sword. Said to Alnar, it's an excellent piece of work, he says proudly. Her, but the blade goes dull quickly, like your company. Oh, damn. We just met, Alnar. I think also there's there's also um, shortcuts. I did read some of the manual. Let's read about axe. Her head. The axe looks big for you, but it is a very sturdy weapon. It will hold its edge well over time and use. Well, we can ask about, um, what's his face? His name is Hel Helmar. Although I could crush him like a pebble if I chose, the jewel has made him powerful and far too dangerous. Ab jewel. There is not much I know about the jewel her, only that will perish if it's not rescued from the hand of that little brat Helmar. Pay with popcorn. Okay, okay, okay. Um what else do we know about here? Ask about plants? Why bother me with that? Ask about floaters. They raise their with when their lower roots are grabbed. They certainly do. Um, planet? It's a nexus of sorts. Travelers locus on the network of universes, her. Ask about TV. Oh, whoops, not TV. Don't know where their TV. Huh, <sighs> buy sword. Really don't need to buy anything here. Give popcorn to Alnar. Give me nothing, tiny one. You'll need all you can gather, and from the looks of you, gather all you can. It's pretty great. Uh, um, uh, ask about acid? Ask about metalsmith. I mean, me no, what is it called? Metal shaper. Metal shaper. Oh, maybe one word? Meta shaper. Nope. Okay. Yeah, AB is a really good shortcut. I should use that. <laughs> yes, Brad, Brad got a hold of a jewel that gives Krypton, Kryptonian style powers. Yeah, I don't know if he's like, yeah, he's just a bad dude. Um, hmm, I don't really know much else about this place. Uh, about flowers? Okay, about acid. He should know about acid, right? Nope. Okay. Bye. Bye? How do I know how to leave? Leave. Okay. This game is really nicely just colorful. Okay. Can I fall to my death here? No. How about that? Okay, let's go down there. Yay. Look now? No. Hmm. Okay, no, no, no. Come back. I did ask about the floaters, Bill Coon. He said that, uh, yeah, they gra they float up when you grab their lower roots. Borrow axe? Might be nice. Gather all you can. Just give him permission to you have a five-finger discount. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Um, this is cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. You're in a small shop where a tall, thin creature, Tentro, is hard at work. He works a mechanism which seems to be making little cubes, spheres, pyramids, and cylinders of different colors, leaning against the wall or golden tubes. Tentro is apparently totally absorbed in what he's doing. Oh, I didn't ask the other guy about himself. Pillhead. Real Canadian Rage, happy Crimson Good Tuesday. Good to see you. Okay. Talk to Tentro. Hello, my friend. I am busy, so please ask me about things you need to know, nothing else. A, B, Sphere. They are examples of what this frag technology can create. Fragments of information. About Pyramid. Oh, no.
There was a shortcut to delete the whole word, but I can't remember what it was. This, they are examples of, okay, fragments of information. Okay, let's ask about himself. I do what little I can to use the special skills I acquired while being trained at the Order of the Jewel. Oh, let's ask about that. About order. I've just finished a batch of invitation frags for them. They're examples of what this frag technology can create fragments of information. Yeah, I didn't ask about Alnar. Okay. Look again. Cubes. Okay, cubes. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We need golden tubes. Okay, let's look, ask about tubes. The gruff but soft hearted Alnar. I thought this said soft haired. The gruff but soft hearted Alnar makes them for me. Oh, now we know what to ask Alnar about tubes. Um. Okay, let's ask about Halmar. Please don't ask about this person. He was swept up in forces beyond his control. An innocent corrupted by forces beyond his control. Yeah, you were right, actually, when you said um, it was just some brat or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, Vilkun, you totally had it right. Oh, you've, you've played this already, though, I think, because you've, you've, you own this game. Okay. These close-ups are wonderful. Real Canadian Raids, I'm doing great. Yeah, I, um, I just started this new game, Alter Destiny, which I've never played before. I'm working on a new scene in my intro, which is going well, too. Um, yeah, it's a good time. Good time. Call him a pillhead. See if he has feelings. <laughs> Tic Tac. Take frag. Which one do you mean? Oh, I could take it. Pyramid frag, smallest frag, the square frag, tubular frag, or the sphere. Sweet. Take pyramid. Holding a frag is harder than it looks. Take sphere. Whoa, I took something, and I got a point. Take tube. You're not close enough. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hi. Okay, look, sphere. <sighs> He's got a mouth. My story is long and arduous. The Longa were a hated tribe known for their violence. Their lands bordered on the Eula's land. The Longa might have survived if the prince hadn't shot his arrow true. A scroll in the Order of the Jewel tells more of this. Cool. Uh, look, pyramid. I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> oh, that's a really nice. Look at that beautiful reflection. You are cordially invited to attend the training session of Jankwa, Master. This is great. <laughs> Pascal, what's the name of those things at car dealerships where they push a bunch of wind into them and the little man dude goes crazy? That's what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> you guys, this is an alien first contact situation. You're calling him Tic Tac. Is there lava nearby? Throw it in. Do I think his head is aerodynamic? Well, it depends um, how he travels, I suppose. Okay, Bilkin, I owned this game for a couple years but didn't get very far. Had to switch to processing hardware and software hauls from computer resets, so I haven't played any adventure games since Kathy Rain in early 2020. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll try getting the cube now. Take cube. I don't know why he doesn't want to take that one. Take, um, hold on. I, sphere and tube. Okay, I've got, I've got a tube. Take tube? Oh, look tube. Oh, this tube is used for carrying frags. Okay, so we can use the tube on, on the one that's hard to get, right? So it takes cylinder. Um, use tube on cylinder. Oh. What was the other one? I used... Hmm. Take cube with tube used for carrying frags oh you know what put cube in tube you'll break its sucking mechanism if you do this game is so weird <laughs> this is why aliens won't visit us you guys put sphere in tube okay put sphere in tube He'll break its sucking mechanism. About yeah, I already asked these. I already. Oh. 
luck sphere golden tube okay what, what am i missing okay got the sphere got the tubes pyramid i tried to take the pyramid right and it said it's too hard to carry About tube. Yeah, he the Al Arnar Alnar makes them. So I can ask Alnar about these tubes now. Um World. Oh. It somehow supplies my steady drops of pigments. Of that I know. Okay, ask about pigment. I thought it had a pyramid, didn't I? Ah, uh, the pigments contain knowledge and information. They flow from down from above and I capture them and make frags of them and they're wonderful. Okay. Um, I thought it, yeah, didn't I take a pyramid? Okay, no, you, you don't have it. Um, take pigment. I did it. Bottle of pigment. Look, bottle. This bottle is used to hold the essence of the little frags. The I've, I've got that feeling, you guys, you know how when you read uh, one of those um, fantasy books where you have a glossary at the end and then you don't know what anything means? That's how I feel. Okay, ask about colors. I wonder if it's gonna... Okay, it doesn't know, it doesn't know um, uh, British spelling. Yes. Uh, the pigments contain yeah, knowledge information. Okay, yeah. So I've got a bottle somehow of this stuff. Um, save. I'm doing great. This is great. I got shapes. Give popcorn to... I forgot this guy's name. Tentro. Okay, thank goodness it's up there. I am not interested in that right now, but thank you for thinking of me. Kiss. Tentro. This is great. Okay, let's drink the pigment. Drink pigment. That would be a little tough to drink. Eat pigment? If you call yourself human, eat the bottle of pigment? Okay, a sphere, a golden tube, and a bottle of pigment. Eat sphere. No? Okay, so this... Try... try triangles come up he hasn't really moved has he he's got this whack-a-mole thing over here can i pull some of his switches pull cord you can't pull on the cord look look mechanism okay ask about mechanism i'll know the graph helped me with it it provides the proper environment for the pigments helping them change into frags Put bottle on mechanism. Can I make my own frag? I don't know what's going on. What game do you th what game do you think is in the floppy? He has. That's true. What is that? Look jar. What do you happen? If, what do you think happens if you flush Tic Tac's head in a toilet? It probably freshen the bowl. I imagine it would turn the water blue. Look disc. Looks like a three and a half disc to me. Thank you. Take disc. Can't take the look. Look jar. No. Um. Okay. Let's. We can now. We can ask. Oh, we could. Did we ask about Alnar? I don't remember. His answer for everything is the sword. Let's ask about sword. I am involved in information dissemination, but I do have my limits. It's good writing. Good writing. Cannot get your disc. Get your disc. Kill Tantro. Okay. Oh, we can look at the shelf. Look shelf, maybe. Okay, look wares. It can actually be L, actually. I know that. Yeah. Uh, great. 
Well, we have some new stuff to ask the other guy. Can we go this way? Can we leave this way? No. We have to go back up the, the stairs. It's so weird. I like it. It's so weird. Okay, go back. Okay. Can I wonder if we can do anything? No. Mm, well, anyway. It's kind of cumbersome having to walk all the way around this other place to do this. Oh, look. Oh, there's stairs here. Oh, man. Look. The walls are part of the very root system of the island and close in like a tunnel around you. A sign made of three leaves shaped like pieces of parchment hovers before you, blocking your way. Thanks to the years you spent watching PBS specials on the Japanese, Chinese, and hieroglyphic languages, you are able to apply your, interp your interpreting skills to these ideographs. The three sections of pimenta leaf parchment seem to be say to say divining on small island, be back much later, private property. Inconvenience Tentro. Give Tentro a wedgie. A thousand part is offendy, but I do not understand. Robin, good to see you by the way. This is weird. Take sign. Can I not go this way? North. North. I want to go north. Look floater. Yeah, yeah. I want to look at- okay. Divining on small island. Be back much later. Pro so we can't- this is just a, a gate. I guess we cannot do this. Okay, leave. This is so yeah, I mean, I'm sure we will come back here somehow, maybe. I don't know. Man. I'm scared. I'm gonna fall. Ooh. Time flies, but it's almost 1130. Okay. I feel good. Like, I haven't asked for any hints or anything. Look, rock. Rock is a rock is a rock. Take rock. You've got a rock, enough rocks in your head. Why take more? Hey, wait a second. Okay. Hey, guy. About Tentro. What does he know? All he does is play with his frags all day. <laughs> Dip popcorn in acid. <laughs> okay. Okay. About frags. Why bother me with that? About tubes. You make the tubes. Yes, I make tubes for the eraser head. Oh, see, he's in on it too, you guys. <laughs> eraser head, Tentro. Gun ducky, happy crimson good Tuesday. Good to see you. The mechanism which makes them sucks up the frags. Okay, I'm trying to understand all these different systems. Okay, the mechanism which makes them sucks up the frags also makes them drop when you point the tube. A clever device. Am I having? Am I just? Am I bad at reading comprehension or what? What is this? I make tubes for the eraser head tentro. The mechanism which makes them. The mechanism which makes them sucks up the frags. The mechanism which makes them suck up the frags. Okay, okay, okay. The mechanism which makes them suck up the frags also makes them drop them when you point the tube. A clever device. Point tube at frags. Okay, I gotta point the tube at the frags. Okay. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Bye. We're going to point tube at frags. Leave. Leave. I don't know what's going on. Okay. We have four minutes to point tube at frags. Tubes are just mini hoovers. Usually with you got just a tube, you got to make suction for the tube. It doesn't just suck on its own. Point tube at frag, point tube at frag, point tube at frag. I wonder if we can go further east. We're just going to fall off again. I'm so smart. Wait, is what? 
Okay, look, tube. My, is my tube full now? Nothing happened. I didn't get anything extra. But I got extra things? I got... Did I get points for that? Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, yes. Paladin William. Inside the golden tube are a tubular frag, a square frag, a pyramid frag, and a smallest frag. Silence and noise. The training is to take place at the order. The invitations must be presented at the order. Look tubular. Of the jewel. No RSVP necessary but to leave. Okay, so these are all part of like one sentence or something. Yeah, the, the, the frags are cool. You can see, it's like, it's wonderful how you can actually see the mouth is projecting from the cylinder. Yes, they all have tiny mouths. These are full. It's amazing. It's amazing. And like, look at the, de like, the, 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 the reflective surface that they're on. Okay, so I'm going to have to, okay, we're going to just de decode this, and then that's going to be the night, I think. But I'm thrilled. I am thrilled. Okay, so tubular frag says of the jewel... No RSVP necessary, but to leave. Okay. Okay, so let's get a look sphere. Oh no, I don't want to write this one down. This is different. This is not the one we need. Okay. Look smallish. Okay. Just, I want the ones that got sucked up. Of silence and noise. The training is to take place at the order. <laughs> Beta humor. This makes me want to play it with correct colors naturally. Naturally. <laughs> the tubular frag is so happy. Yes, I'm going to try to put these in order. I'm just, I wonder if I have to physically put them in order or if I can just do what I'm doing. Um, look square. This one might be my favorite. Look at his little mouth, the square. Invitations must be presented at the Order. Okay. Okay, square, square, tubular, smallest square. Tubular, smallest square. Tubular, pyramid. Okay, this one might be my favorite. This one might be my favorite. You. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, I'm going to read this all. I think I, I cracked the code. Okay. You are cordially invited to attend the training session of Jonquo, Master of the Jewel. No RSVP necessary, but to leave, invitations must be presented at the order of silence and noise. The training is to take place at the order. I think. Bill Kim, thank you so much for the reset. Fantastic. Happy Crimson Katoos Day. The mouths are amazing, Gundaki. I I am just this is so weird, this game. That I'm just it's so different, right? I this is what I this is everything I was hoping for when I started doing these let's plays. I'm playing a game I've never played before. It's an EGA, it's a text parser, it's it's from like a studio I've never played anything from. It's like this is 
been existing since 1990 and I never knew anything about it. I get to experience it for the first time. I'm like happy as a clam over here. This is great. This is great. Um, okay, that's going to be it for the night. I feel awesome about this. I'm just really having the time of my life with this game. Okay.